Hello everyone, this is Captain Jack coming back to play Lengthy Falls with new game, Resident Evil Remastered. Now, I've always been a fan of the Resident Evil series, and I've been dying to get my hands on this game, so now that I've finally got it, we're gonna play it. So let's start. PSAA uniforms? <laughs> it's wicked. Really like their BSS BSAA uniforms. I'm going to joke. If, I, if it's anything like the original Resident Evil, Chris will not start with a gun, and I would rather start with this one. That's just me. The original Resident Evil for the PlayStation 1 used a live film for the opening sequence, so it's nice to see that they CG this one. Give too much away for people who don't know the series. But if you watch this playthrough all the way through, you'll understand why I don't like that guy. And if you played the game, then you already know why I don't like that guy. Oh, wow, well, I hope the rest of the game looks this good. You're gonna die, dude. You are all alone. You are going to die. And I'm going to watch you. And you let your guard down. And you're dead. I said it. I told him he was going to die. I warned him. Oh, um, look at him now. He's dying. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Oh, Jill. You got a gun? Maybe help him? Oh, never mind, you're too late. Oh, that's gross. And now we have to run. Running. Bring that back here. I want that. It doesn't make me like you anymore, Wesker. I still hate you. Okay, Wesker. Again, not going to spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen the series. Survival horror. Now, this is a game I casually mentioned in uh, my short playthrough of SCP Payment Breach, which I do intend to get back to. Or, of course, I was referring to one for the PlayStation. Wow. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Hmm? 
this just looks so good right now. Shut up, Wesker. Don't tell me what to do. Again, Whisker, shut the fuck up. Stop telling me what to do. I don't like you. I don't. Kiss my ass. Why does she have a gun in her hand and a gun on her holster? Wouldn't that be interesting? It's the dining room. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, oh, wow. That's you. An ink ribbon! Yeah, I'd like to be able to say. In fact, we're gonna do that right now. It's an old type. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. And it still asks stupid questions. I love that. <laughs> One of the things I used to make fun of during the original Resident Evil series was uh, how it used to ask you stupid questions like, do you want to go up the ladder? No, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it, no. I thought I'd just stare at it for a little while. I cannot believe they kept that. I think you better take a look at this. Okay, he just put that in his mouth. How long does it take to examine it? It's blood. You know what it is. Move on. What are you, some sort of walking DNA device? Can you tell who it belongs to? I don't even want to know how you figure that one out. This is the old style door opening sequence. <laughs> Gotta go this way for reasons. Cutscene! Listen to that. That just. Ooh. Oh, he was eating a dude. How do, oh, there we go. That's how I run. Okay. Playing with a gamepad because I'm accustomed to playing games like this with one, so. Nice job, Barry. I think you could have done that with two less shots, but nice job. Oh, we could have took a Wesker. I'm gonna talk to Wesker. He's not gonna be in here anyway. Or you should be. It walked off. It took three. 357 rounds to the chest and it got up and walked off. Yes, I already don't like this game. No, I'm kidding. I love this game. I love the Resident Evil series. I, I have played almost all of them across like multiple consoles. Remember this in the original? I don't think you can get behind me. Ooh, 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 ooh. A door. Better finish searching the hall first. And back upstairs. And cutscene again. No. Not that big a room, Barry. If you didn't find him, I sure didn't find him. He's not here. What are you talking about? There's not much we can do. Oh yeah, you're gonna go taste some more of that blood.
No, it's a fist. Oh, he was holding the lockpick. Okay. Thanks. Now she's Thank holding you. it. Listen. May Hill. I mostly saved the game so early because the last time I experimented with this game it was an Easter egg of sorts. If you open this door you get to see the dogs that chased you into the game. Here. But I read somewhere that if you attempt this Easter egg again, the dog actually gets inside. In the original version, you were able to shut the door in time and keep it out. And uh all the comments said that if you open the door and let the dog in, it will kill you. So I might do that later on, but I'm not going to do that right now. Because I only have the magazine in the gun. And I would like to find more ammunition before I go spouting off and doing something stupid. Let's run. Because I'm sure the viewers don't see you. Don't want this to take too terribly long. Oh goody! Okay, so if it's any indication as to what it was like in the first game, the original, that's a map. And I have to go and get it. But there's no stairs. In the original, you had to push a set of stairs up to the statue and then walk up on it. This room is not here. I'm gonna go inside. No stuff. Painting. Kind of U-shaped. Ooh, shiny. Shiny in these games always indicate something important. And if you look out for the shine, if you want to know what you're supposed to pick up. Uh, and it's always been since first Resident Evil items have shined. Uh, in Resident Evil 4 and 5, they changed the color of the indicator to tell you, will you take the deck? Okay, why would I need one? Oh, using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. Oh, so I can't just make push them off or something? I can't do that without a dagger? However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual on the control settings, you must press the left button to use the defensive item. We should probably check and see what that is set to. Right. Okay, it's already equipped. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a taser. It has no batteries. Oh. We shall exit. And we shall check the controls. Defensive items. Auto. Okay, so she will automatically use those. That's good. And now we go to... And as I was saying before, Resident Evil 4 and 5, they changed the color of the indicator uh oh oh it's a zombie they changed the color of the indicators to indicate what you would be picking up from the distance like green was a health item ooh a one shot again uh red indicated ammunition or another weapon and white was just a generic in mean, the early resident was, was just shot just a shot didn't drop that. In some of the Resident Evil I played sometimes when you killed an enemy to drop stuff. Try to go through a pain. This isn't Mary Poppins. It's Resident Evil. You can't go through paintings. It's an awful tall area. I wonder if I can't like climb over this. Well, I can climb on it. Oh, I could push it over there. I could get the map. 
jump down on the other side? Oh, I can. I can. I can push this out. Oh, it's too far against that wall. I can't get behind it. Oh, I'm going to have to reset it. Is this door open? It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into a lock. So that means we need the sword key. Very, very puzzle-based game. Resident Evil always has been. And you backtrack a lot in these games trying to get items and things that you need to get to various other places. I hope this works. It worked in the original versions. If you screwed up, you could leave the room and come back in and it reset the room. Work. Work. Climb over. Jump down. Turn around. Push it. Push it up to the statue. Oh, crap. Remember my HDMI cable was acting funny. <laughs> Couldn't see nothing for a little while. Sorry about that, folks. It, it might do that a couple times. And there's a map of Dimension First Floor. Take it. Yes. No. You know what? No. Leave it there. I'm just going to hang it off her face. And anytime I want to come look at it, I'll come back to this room. God, with the stupid questions. I think there is something in there. It looks like. It looks like there's a door in there. Uh, how do I zoom in? Oh, well, that ain't it. Crap. Oh, but it looks like there was something in here. In something, like another door in this room. At this paint. An eerie feature of the mansion. Oh, this is a door. That's new. His body is still there. In the old Resident Evil, uh, you didn't have the, the ability to let the body stick around, so they disappeared. Uh, but this time, his body is sticking there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm kind of leaning towards that might be a bad thing. Okay, let's see. Is this door open? Yup. Locked. In the of a helmet. Oh, great, so two different keys we have to find just to unlock one entire wing of the house. Let's try this door. That does not sound good. Moaning and chain rattling. Maybe we ought not to go down there yet. Let's go see what Barry's doing. That clock is really loud. Anyway, I thought he said he was going to be in the dining room. Where is he? Did you go? When the two have run each other through the path to your destiny, will open. Okay, that's not the same puzzle as the original one. What is this? A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Okie dokie then. As if this way, this little place wasn't macabre enough. Okay, back into the zombie room. Let's see if he was munching, that dude he was munching on had any ammunition. I don't want to go use it anymore until I found some more. Corpse of your comrade Kenneth. 
It looks like he's holding something. Please be a clip. Nope. It's a video. Need a video player to see what's recording. So here it comes. It looks like his throat's been torn out. Really? That's probably why he's dead, though, I guess. Because he didn't have any ammo left. Oh, a door. And it opens. Awesome. Maybe? Dark hallway. It's a feeling we shouldn't be here. I love the way the shadows move. That's so cool. <gasps> Herbs. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Is that, is that a clip? Yes! Ammo! I have ammo. Oh, it's a dead body. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Sweetheart, if you only knew. I'm gonna go get these herbs. If you don't know, herbs are the way you heal yourself in this game. And there are three kinds. Or not all three carried over for every Resident Evil, but the original ones, like the first two or three, had red, blue, and green. Uh, green was basic health, it just revived your health. Red uh, strengthened whichever one it was combined with. So if you like mix the red herb and green herb, made the green herb stronger. So it would replenish more of your health. Blue cured poison, but it didn't restore health. So if you mix like a red herb and a blue herb, it would cure you from a lot of things. And if you mixed all three, you got like this super herb that would do everything. Or you could mix in a combination, but you could only mix up to three. So you could mix two green and one red, or three green, and oh, I see feet. I see feet, that's a lot. Four green herbs. I hear moaning. Okay, so see what I was talking about is you can combine these herbs and you get mixed herbs. Mixed herbs do better. Like I said, you can only, in the original anyway, you could only mix up to three total. And if you had a red, you could only mix one red. You couldn't make it any stronger than, than one red herb. But you could mix like a green and a blue, or a green and a red and a blue, or two greens and a red. I don't think you could do two greens and a blue herb. I think you had to mix a blue herb with a red one and a green or you had to take it by yourself by itself. So I heard moaning and I see a zombie. And I'm shooting. I see myself shooting in the mirror. And I have lost. Oh, and he's getting up. He is getting up. Is he there? Is he there? Yep, he's dead. That's old school body checking right there. <laughs> in the old Resident Evil, and apparently in this one too, if you backed up and it wasn't dead, they would back up differently. Locked from the other side. How come the other one didn't wake up? Did quite a bit of shooting. Look at those. What is that? Ooh, it's shiny. That means we should pick it up. Will you take the golden air? Yes, I'll take the golden air. Select an item and then select the salmon uh, That's old school because in Resident Evil, not everything is what it appears. Sometimes an item that looks like it is the whole item is you only need part of. Arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Case in point. Don't need the whole arrow, but just need the arrowhead. It's really cool, you can kind of see through it. Arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as poor man's enemy. Okay, 
So it's in a mansion, obviously very lavish, very pompous. pompous. Whoever owned the mansion obviously had a lot of money. Why would it be made out of paradise? Why wouldn't it be real then? A clip. Pick it up, bitch. There we go. Yes. And now we have even more ammo. Hey. Oh, two doors. Which one do we go through this one first? Locked from the other side. Well, I guess we're not going to that one then. You unlocked it. Okay, I didn't even know it was locked. Okay, here we go. Next room. Oh, 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 we're on the second floor above the dining room. And there's his eye. Damn it, woman. I'm just shoot. Reload, reload, reload. Oh. He's still alive, too. We just want him to stand back up. Man, it takes a lot to put one of these down. Who's that blue thing? Is it that statue's hand? Oh, I bet it's something we need to get. Oh, is it Captain Rand? This is just like one of the old places. We have to push this statue off the rail. Now we push it, push it off, and push it too far down. Damn it! Ah, there we go. Okay. And now, nope, no, no. There we go. Now we push it off. There we go. Now we're going to check out that other door. of a sword. Okay, so I guess we're going back downstairs then, ain't we? Oh, wait, 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 shiny. A dagger. I might need that. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Couldn't get through the door. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, another door. The other stairs. Is it open? No, it doesn't. Locked from the other side. It's over here. Big ass window. You can't make anything out through the darkness and the fog. Okay. What's in here? It's locked. An emblem of armor. So three keys now that we need to find to open that one full wing of this mansion. Is this door unlocked? Probably not. It's locked. Surprise, surprise. Sword. Well, at least I know if I get the sword key, we're unlocking a lot of doors. That's like, what, three now? That require the sword key? Whoa. I don't remember there being a door here. Not in the original one. <gasps> and it opens. But I get a feeling I don't want to be where it goes. And we're outside. Great! Be really, really careful. Let's go find out. I wonder who was there. I want to know. There's a creepiest camera angle. Okay, there we go. 
Well, I think it's safe to say that all involved know what goes in that shape. So why don't we pull that out now? Ta-da! That's why it was fake, man. You don't want to scuff up the real stuff. Stairs. Descending. Possibly into hell. Machiner. At least what sounds like machiner. I get a feeling I'm not going to like what's down here. And I was right, machinery. What is this? Nothing to read? Oh, here we go. A stone statue with old red eyes, nose, and mouth should be. That's kind of cool. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. Also, oh, this one only has the eyes missing. Oh, so each of them have a different piece missing. This one's missing its nose. So then the other one's missing just its mouth. Yep, just the mouth. Water! What is the water for? The flames are dancing wildly. Who knows what? Freaking Yahoo sign out noise came on and scared the shit out of me. Damn it, Major, don't sign out so early. Hey, a book. Will you take the book of curses? Sure, why not? That doesn't sound ominous and foreboding at all. Why is there a coffin hanging on the ceiling? the book of curses. Oh, 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 what is that? There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? No, I'll just leave it there. Dumbass nice question. Got the mansion key. Oh, and the book's gonna open now, apparently. Oh, more reading. The poor man. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no... I think somebody has not been paying attention to the way that phrase sounds. A mask that sees no evil. I didn't know evil had an odor. Oh, God. God damn it, Mater. Online or offline? Pick one. Scan the shit out of me with that noise. This game is creepy enough. Mask that cannot speak, smell, or see. Oh! These are referring to the things on the other wall. When all four fall into place, evil will awake. Okay, so there's a coffin hanging from the ceiling. Really foreboding. I got a book that tells me I'm looking for masks. And that I have to place them on these faces. And when I do, I bet that means the coffin's gonna open. It's a really big coffin. No. No. You know what? No. No. Fuck this room. Fuck it. Get out. Get out. Fuck this room. Fuck this room. Fuck this room. I hate that room. It was damp and it smelled funny. I'll just never go back in there. It's over here. Is there anything over here? Can I go over here? No. No? Pointless? Okay. Fuck you. It's over here. <gasps> oh, something shiny. Locked from the other side. Really? Can't, like, I don't know, climb over the gate, maybe? Just running off because it's locked seems really counterproductive and smells horrendously of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
<laughs> if any of you haven't seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you won't know what I'm talking about. But it's that scene near the end where they lock out the Volgons with this like two and a half foot high fence. The Volgons are just like, oh no, we thought to come the other side. We'll have to go around. It was like a wooden picket fence. They could have broke it down, but you know they were so dumb that they they had to find a new way to go. They were just stuck. Oh wait, I got a key. What key did I get? That's right. Examine. <gasps> that looks like a sword. The sword key. That means we can go to new places. I'm gonna start with this one. Because I think this one was a sword. I can't remember. disappeared in every Resident Evil except this one. Probably about to die, everybody. So you know, probably about to be eaten by a mutilated dog. Stop trying to push it against the wall and go around. <gasps> Another clip. Yes, pick it up. Yes, pick it up. Oh my God. Forty-one rounds. I made it through that hallway. I can't believe that. <laughs> but I can't imagine that I'm going to get through it again. Oh, close up. Okay. I thought cutscene. Do I want to go through it? Check the map. Oh, I uh, guess I can't go through there. It appears to be locked. Oh, but apparently I have the key. Mm -hmm. Yep, I guess we're going in here. I haven't found a storage box in a while. I hope that those things still exist. Shut up, dog. I will shoot you in the face. What is this? Will you take the chemical to use on plants? Sure, why not? Yes, uneventful. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being uneventful. Now we're going to explore more of this. Ooh, another door. That is the ugly ass door. It's a bath. Really? And there's Tuck. Is full of water. Yeah, I already pointed that out, Joe. Thank you. Well, if you want to stick your hand in there, go ahead. It, I ain't doing it. Dun, 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 dun. Why is this cut so? Oh shit! Because there's a zombie in there. We, we know, can, we, we can, we kind of need to go back into the boat where I can shoot it in the face now. Can we step on it? Crunch its brains out. Yes. Oh, come on. No, don't go. Uh, 
And then she goes and throws up in the nasty toilet. Oh, hey, deck. It's like, what? I got three of those now, I think. Four. Oh, I got four. Did I pick up a fourth? Well, I guess technically this would be the fourth one. Where did I pick up the third? Oh, well, wait a minute. I got four. The more of those I have to take. We're gonna go this way. No door. Just a hole. A window. Here's a door. What's in here? Oh, I know this room. This room has the shotgun. This puzzle is anything like the puzzle was in the original Resident Evil. I need a broken shotgun. Hey, another dagger. No, I have five. I need the broken shotgun to put in its yep, to put in its place. I don't have a broken shotgun. I have more ink. Oh, maybe I'll find a type. Will you take the no <laughs> No, I will not. No, for those of you who have played Resident Evil, you all know why I'm not taking the shotgun. For those of you who haven't fill you in. The shotgun is on a weighted lever system. And if I take it, the levers come undone and the door locks. I can't get out until I place the shotgun back. Hence why I need the broken shotgun because it weighs the same. It will weigh the levers down and keep the doors from locking. That way I can take the working shotgun and get the fuck out of that room. Wait, like, that's the way I like this to there. Bubble doors. I need a typewriter. I would like to save my game. A door. I need to open this. Oh, where the fuck am I? Oh crap, zombie. Oh no, 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 no. Stabbing, yes, stabbing right in the fucking head, stabbing. Bitch. He's dead, but I hear more. I'm gonna go in here. Oh, yes, a safe room. Yes, this is still a safe room. Thank God. Ooh, and another clip. Pick that up. Okay, so we're gonna store all the crap we don't need. Me and we're going to pick up this mask. Because it's shiny, and I probably need Fuel canteen. Yes, okay. And now we're going to put stuff in this box. Oh, good. It doesn't just open because she's standing in front of Oh, more handgun magazines, yes. No, I didn't want to put them in the box. I wanted them. You piece of shit. That's okay. I should probably arrange this anyway. Ink rib, no ink, ink rib, and take the next First aid sprays are also another way this game lets you heal yourself. They're very few and far between, but if you do get one, uh, save it for if you're really low on health because they replenish like a shit ton of your health in one go. And I like to, I don't like to use them too often unless I really have to, but I do like to stock up on them to keep them in. Uh, these save chests like this one. That way, if I do need to come back to a safe room, I can get one and heal myself if I'm taking a lot of damage. Like that. And can't find herbs. Because on the harder difficulties, uh, healing and ammo are a lot harder to find. So you have to be very, very careful about what you use and when. Use the ink room. Yes. Okay, I think I'm going to save it and then stop it here. Uh, not really a whole lot has happened this playthrough yet. Uh, we did. It was dirt. We shot a couple zombies. Uh, we stabbed one in the head. We've barely begun to explore this mansion, and there's even more than just this mansion to the game. Like, this whole huge mansion, it, it, it takes you forever to get through, and then there are other 
places you have to go to uh, just to find everything and, and collect everything you need. Uh, hopefully, in the next one, I will be able to get the broken shotgun. I think I'm really close to where I find it uh, in the original game. I don't know how well the map stays close to the original map, but uh, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game, and I'm glad because I've really been wanting to play this, and I've always loved Resident Evil. Uh, kudos to Capcom and their team for for making the, the Resident Evil series. This has been awesome. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you like the video, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like. Uh, su subscribe to the channel. It really does help. I promise. It will. And uh, I will see you in the next clip.